we did a webinar with him, and he said, the one thing you want to do is shoot every day. If you're an MMJ, you want to shoot every day and get so familiar with this piece of equipment that it becomes second nature to you and the person you're interviewing, the person you're interacting with, that you're shooting with, starts to interact with you and this piece of equipment that they're usually kind of afraid of becomes second, becomes something in the background. So you're, you know, so you bring out someone's humanity easily. You know, it's just natural to you. You're shooting, you're collecting stuff, and you're talking to them, you're talking to somebody, and it's, and, and you're not messing with the camera. And so suddenly the person you're trying to talk to, their attention is focused on the camera too, which you don't want. I mean, you want to, you want it to be free and easy and natural and, and hey, this, you know, you made me feel really good. I, you know, this was great. I thought it was going to be hard and you made it easy. That's the kind of comment you want at the end of the story as opposed to, whew, I, you know, I'm not sure I ever want to do an interview again. That was difficult. And this camera, you seem to be fiddling with it an awful lot. And I, you know, I wondered if something was wrong and maybe I looked bad or something. You know, so, and, you know, I'll go on vacation and come back and I'll notice that my my game is off. I, I, I will have forgotten to switch something, you know. So that everyday use is important. I mean, it becomes, you know, because that camera, the, your, your picture is important, but also making making your subject feel at home and at ease is also very important. I mean, you get your best stories that way. You know, the person who, who doesn't even know the camera's there, and that's when you get the you, magic happens then, when suddenly, you know, if the camera's not there, it's just, just you or it's just you know this great emotional moment that, that 